in control. I don't think he will. Sure, we'll keep Yacht at the top. And they've had enough. Let me guess, mono red? No? Okay. <laughs> oh wow, and I forgot it. Uh, <laughs> An enchantment entering the battlefield, he also gets another plus one plus one counter. Just disgusting, man. What's up, deck guys? Welcome back to NTG with me. It's the Gameswalker today. I've got some standard ranked matches for you. Currently in Platinum, there are a lot of different deck types that have made it this far in the ladder, and a lot of new ones that you may not have seen. So I will hopefully see some of those and talk about those for you this is so close to a good hand I, I need one more mana and this would be amazing but I don't so it's risky I normally don't accept two land hands and so I shouldn't this is okay uh, if I'm playing mono black this is really good I'm gonna pitch uh, Cost. This is a one of in the deck. It's very good to have it, but you can't just count on it. Mono red. Here it comes. We got blast zones. We're looking for one more. One more land. Since they're playing burn, it's very good to play Guardian of New Benalia. They'll have to focus their burn on it, but I can always tap it down in response, give it indestructible, and kind of get that problem out of the way. Uh, this says, whenever it's dealt damage, you get to exile that many cards off the top, and until the end of your next turn, you may play that card. Oh, choose one of them. Okay. So if you swing, I'll block and kill him, just to get it off the board. Let's get rid of. Uh, let's get rid of Virtuoso. I can always play it back with Paragon, and it's a cheaper playback cost than the Faith Breaker. Exile 2. What do they exile? They'll play the land, yeah. Alright. That's not terrible. And now I'll get my treasure token. I've got 4 mana open. Or I will. Maybe even 5. Depends if I want to sack Blast Zone. Lightning Strike. Redrop, get rid of Face Breaker. Maybe. No. Arabras Forge. Alright, so they're going to be playing Artifact. Try to build this up, I think. No, this is the Oil Counter one. Okay. Seen the strategy before? Where first strike's amazing because this first their power is gonna go up crazy, but that toughness is gonna stay a one. Uh, it's gonna get exiled at the end of the turn anyway, so I'm gonna block. They're just gonna keep swinging with that. Okay. Um, I do need that for a planes, but let's go ahead and just sack and see what we got. Most of the deck is 3 drop or less. Hey, we got it. That's awesome. Let's play Sarah Paragon. Uh, when I swing across, it's going to be 4 damage either way. So this is where you take advantage of the enlist. Now we got to scry a little bit. Some scry action. I really want Angel Fire. If I pull it, I can use it from the graveyard. So we're going to throw them both to the, to the bottom. We're just looking for Angel Fire. And Scry, Scry 2 is amazing. Especially because you can use it as an ability, right? So I'm going to do that over and over with a card that can make itself indestructible. And just try to increase my odds of getting that Angel Fire. There's only four of them in the deck. The odds are terrible. Getting, you know, off the top, you don't really want to think about it too much. <laughs> especially, I've got 50 cards in there. We're very early game here. Well, mid game. But... You want to increase your odds as best you can. Okay. 
Swing with both, they're gonna die anyway. Yeah. Uh, two damage for one, they could get rid of it. It's a weird feeling, but if they hit me for two, I don't want to lose Sarah Paragon. I need her for what I'm about to do. Oh, oh, almost. Uh, I could increase my draw by doing that, but hey, I also have one card I can fetch here. Let's get those odds. No angel fire. Mm, okay. Let's let's just get in there. Give me that angel fire. Alright, so that's two more cards, and so we've effectively moved five, six cards, if you count the treasure token, in one turn. That's pretty good. And they're going to be at three, so can they do 15 damage to me? That's going to be a tough call. And I got one open for Lauren's escape. Yeah, I don't see them bouncing back from this one. That's gonna do it. They've got five open mana. They're gonna swing with a three three or sorry, a three one and a two one. Maybe a one one, but I'll block with a four four. In control, I don't think you will. Sure, we'll keep Yacht at the top. And they've had enough. This is interesting. Turn two, turn three. I haven't kept an opening hand that looks like this, so let's try. Let's see, let's see how it does. Uh, turn two. If I draw Illuminator, I want to be able to play it, so I'm going to play that tap. I know that seems weird but I'm going to do that anyway. This is the Boros. Create a huge board state with Convoke. Um, Sacrifice to create three one ones. They're just going to create a huge board state. They're going to use War Leaders thing. Uh, I forget what it's called. To give all your creatures plus one, plus one. And I think whenever I have a, whenever they have a creature that enters, I lose one life. I think is how that works. So let's... Put in a 2-2. Two, two. They usually don't make a move until early mid-game. So about turn, maybe turn 3, maybe turn 4. In T, I love it. They didn't draw land. Or they didn't play land. What are you going to discard? Probably land. No. Another demolition. That means they don't have another way to produce artifacts. Otherwise, they would have. No blocks. Play your land. Fantastic. If I play Face Breaker and Swing, they could get rid of it. Oh, that's tough. Alright, uh, they also have that one drop that deals damage equal to the number of creatures you have, which would be five, and that would be enough to get rid of it. So, might be better to spread it out. That's hard, hard call. Next turn, I can play Agros. <clears throat> I think I try to eat their board state because they want it. They're going to hold on to it as much as they can. So I'll swing. Sacrifice Corliss. I can play that for a scry 2 from the graveyard. It's a 3 3. You could block with two things or your 3 1 1s. If you block with 3 1 1s, I love it because that means you don't have that removal. Sweet. Buy and have. Playing a tap land. They've got two cards left in hand and running out of steam. Swing with the 2 3, discard a card, make it a, a 3 4. Sure. <coughs> oh, 
That stinks. They didn't get the card. This is the card they need. They might be able to play it though. For five. No, they're one shy. Tap two, play for four. This doesn't tap for mana. So unless they have a land. Yep, that's gone. That was very lucky for us. Play land. Uh, those are one drops. I could just remove the one drops right now, which I might do. Because I don't need five mana. You know what? Let's do that. Just to be mean. And next turn I can start using Angel Fire and try to push through. Also, if I happen to draw a Luminator, that's amazing. Oh, here it is. War Leader's Call. Plus one, plus one, whenever they have a creature into the battlefield, I lose a life. They've got one card in hand. I'm thinking this is a wrap. They're going to hit me for four, maybe. They don't like their card. All right, sweet. So we got rid of their board state. This is another staple for this. This is one of the newer ones I was talking about, where it's going to ETB. All creatures get plus one, plus zero on haste, so he's going to swing for three, too. Plus, you're going to get a lot of other problems. All right, my opponent has no cards in hand, and they have a 4-4. Four, four. That is not a problem. All right. Let's do... I'm going to get some of that life back. And I'm going to play another one. They do have Restless Biovac, they might be able to, or Biovac, I don't know how you say that. Uh, they could have swung with that and discarded that to get 6, six Trample and a 2-2, two -two, but yeah, they would have lost the land, so I think they did the right move. Uh, they also have no combat tricks, so I'm just going to trade there with a 4-5. Yeah, they didn't have a good odd. That deck is pretty brutal though, uh, assuming that they did get the Convoke and played it the way they were supposed to, keeping the creatures back, taking a couple hits if you need to because you know you're going to out outpace your opponent. It can be really good. Definitely check that deck out if that's kind of what you're into. Boros does a really good job of that. I'm going to keep this one. This one seems weird, but it's like the opposite of the lack of mana hands that I've been getting so honestly at this point I'm just gonna run with it let me guess mono red no okay <laughs> uh, I don't have an angel to benefit from that so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this out I also have the mana to play it anyway finale is a uh, way less likely to block kind of creature because you know I can give it indestructible. That's good to see. Sweet. Give me that treasure token though. Nice. Three open mana. They're just setting up here. Most of their this Simic enchantment deck is two drops. There you go, another two drop. So I'm gonna play Blast Zone and prep it for one turn out. Take four. I'll need one there. I can play a three drop. Sweet. All right. So if I want to pump Blast Zone up, one that takes two. And that I've got two open mana now, but if I play a three drop that allows me to get through that defense, then I could pump it up at the end of the turn. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tap, tap, and the game doesn't think about it like this. Sweet. Angel Fire. You gotta be careful with that. If you're moving too quickly, you could ruin your blast zone opportunity. Uh, I do need to enlist to guarantee that I'll get that in case they want to chop with everything, which, again, I don't imagine they would, but it's possible. Scratch you, baby. Uh, 
I don't need them. Let's focus on bigger creatures. Another two drop. Come on. Helix. Alright. Making the 4 4 naturalist with the lifelink. Pretty strong. Bearded companion for one. Draw a card. They're looking for audacity, I'm guessing. Can't play ossification. Oh, they did get the audacity. I'm just gonna get hit for a lot here. 15. Yikes. Uh, it is trample, so I could chop, sack, next turn. Punch it. I do want that land, though. I will draw a card, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I could only stop four damage. I guess I'll stop four damage. And a copy audacity, I'm guessing. Good copy, Naturalist, if you really want to beef it up here. Other enchantment creatures get plus one, plus one. Ooh, I forgot this one has an anthem on it. That's pretty good. When you do ossification, you'll see this uh, deck play ossification with Weaver of Harmony, and they'll just copy that really very early game and just remove your board. It's so annoying. I will add a count. So if I play land, swing with angel fire, that's not going to be enough. I'll need to remove the two drops now. Um, I suppose I could wait to do that after they swing. But that leaves Weaver of Harmony to use the two drop ossification or so I think I'll just be I'm gonna swing with the 4-4 make them think about it and see what they want to do just in case there's human error here I'm gonna make it indestructible anyway it's up to them when they want me to do that. Monstrous Rage gives trample at instant speed. It also gives plus three plus zero. So it's something that they may overlook. They may just be like, you know what, let me let me get hit for the four. Nope, they're gonna take it. They're gonna chop. Alright. Well I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Now that slows them down, it doesn't stop the deck entirely. They could easily just build it up. Audacity keeps giving you draw. Kami keeps going back into your hand. It's it's a it's an issue. But at least I have a better chance of building a board state past all that nonsense. They had so many copies of stuff. Calyx could swing here. Make them a 3-3, three, three, swing, copy the... Oh, well, they're 
they're not an enchantment, so it's not a big deal. That audacity could be a problem though. That's a 5-3 trample, swings through. Six, sorry, 6-4 six, trample, swings through. Gets another plus 2, plus 0, makes it an 8-4. And he could draw 2 cards when he dies. Disgusting. No blocks. Now that he hit, <clears throat> now that he hit me, he can copy it. That's the only target. I mean, he could copy it himself, but then he would remove it, and that's not smart. So audacity. Now he's selecting to put it on Calyx. Oh wow! And I forgot. Uh, <laughs> An enchantment entering the battlefield, he also gets another plus one plus one counter. Just disgusting, man. Let's uh, try to outcompete Calyx here. Um, I'm not sure if I should go for the extra two, because I can stop three with Base Breaker. But that enlist could be helpful. Let's see. I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. This is a very tough matchup. We got Paragon. What do we got in the graveyard? Yada. Um. Let's do this. This next turn, I can do Illuminator and. Angel Fire, and that is a big enough swing to make a difference. Sweet, we got rid of a 1 1 and got some life blink in there. Treasure token, sweet. That's gonna allow us to do the Illuminator. Draw a card, fantastic. Please be a land. This deck lets you draw so much. Oh, I get to draw a card again? Oh, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna keep drawing. All these plus one plus one counters. For nine. Alright, so it went to combat, probably land. Swing out. Well, they shouldn't swing with the five five. Swing with the nine five, copy audacity, strengthen out the board. Draw another card. Oh my goodness. And it went to end step. Okay. So I have a chance. <laughs> yes. Alright, so we will play Illuminator. Angel Fire. Let's discard NT. We can play that later with Sarah Paragon if we need to. Alright, so this will be 8 damage. Gain 8 life. Put me at 12. That's good to have. I could do Benalia for 6. They'll probably chop with the 1-1. One, one, keep the 2-2 two, two ready to copy on the swing. And that's, I mean, honestly, that's pretty dangerous. Um... Oh, here's a, here's something I could do. If I were to swing out, I still have the 4-4 four, four to block. I have a 6-6 six, six and a 2-3. They'd have to block at least the 6-6 six, six with a 1-1. One, one. That's 8, that's 10. Mm. I think I should just swing with Illuminator and have the rest back. Puts me up to 12, takes them down to 5. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to play it safe. And I'll get two treasure tokens, even if they double blocked, which is good. Allows me to do a lot of work next turn. Okay. This is, um, 
a very interesting matchup. I normally don't have to play this long against the Lesnia. But they got a lot of life gain potential. They got a lot of removal potential, which I haven't seen yet. Uh, I suspect it's coming. I hope they don't swing. If they don't swing, I'm golden. And they can see it. Because I've got angel fire. Yeah. Um... Let's do that take three. And I think because he dies in the process that that doesn't that ability doesn't go on the stack. It might. Oh it does. Okay. So you can make a copy of enchantment, but his other ability doesn't because he's not on the board state anymore, so that he I don't have to worry about another plus one plus one counter being put on one of the creatures on the board so that is a plus and what do we got I think I think that's gonna do it no they did have ossification yucks all right or yikes Ugh. get rid of the four four double strike Yep. I could sack a treasure token and hope to see Lauren's escape. It wasn't there, so that was a smart move. Let's sack one. That's a good card to pull. Let's do this. I want to play a uh, land. One, two, three, four, one, uh, okay, okay, so I'll do this, Angel Fire, I'm going to, if I swing with it, I still get the one, alright, yeah, that's it, I was thinking about if I should enlist it, but I didn't need to, I still would have gotten the third treasure token, put out Resplendent, I would have gained the life, which also would have given me a 4-4 four, four Flying Vigilance Angel token, so that, that was a good play, good game. And that's going to do it for some of what is in standard currently. I do appreciate you, as always, watch these games, get those gains, and walk those planes. Until next time, deckheads, keep it easy.